Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In War of the Visions JP, let's pull this uh, 10 shot, which guarantees you three URs, and then uh, you can re pull it up to three times. Uh, this makes for a good video, so I thought I would pull this. And then uh, later we can talk about the, uh, the JP news. Uh, we got the two new characters coming out uh, right before the first anniversary, and then the next raid, so we can talk about those. Uh, but first, let's pull in here. Um, as for what I want, I want uh, vision cards. So if I get any of those that I like, then I'll keep those. Uh, the two Halloween characters are in here as well, uh, but it's going to be uh, 13 hours until they disappear. So if I pull them, I definitely won't be able to work on them at all. Um, so if I do pull one or both, then I would be tempted to skip that, uh, just kind of get them out of mind. Uh, but I guess it wouldn't be bad to have them in my box so that when they come back, maybe in half a year or a year, I can work on them then. So let's go ahead with this. Okay, lots of yellows. Mask, that is definitely one that I want. So this one's looking good. Recently got that to uh, three stars. Gilgamesh, not working on him in this account, so... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, last unit. Victora, also not working on her. Alright, I think we can uh, skip this one. <laughs> And uh, Halloween coins, which you can turn in for stuff, but don't really need that. Oh, and then for the Exorcist card, I think I said this in the last video, but I finished that in a week, uh, doing whimsy shops and stuff. Uh, these shards were also available uh, from these Halloween coins, but it's like 2,000, you know, vision or a pull in order to get some coins, so I didn't feel like that was worth it, so I just went ahead and finished it with uh, a lapis. I guess people are having trouble um, getting shards for the Exorcist cards in Global. Uh, anecdotal evidence, but uh, hopefully people can finish that in time. Tetrasilphid, okay. That's only my second pull, I think, so I could uh, upgrade that. Moshity, alright. She is actually 50 shards away from Max, so that is kind of tempting to get her. <laughs> And Rob! I want him too. <laughs> this might be the least desirable pull for people, but I really want this. Uh, Rob is going to be good for the next raid, and I very nearly have him at uh, 4 stars, uh, Limit Break 4, uh, but he's only like 7, 8 shards away, so I'll finish him tomorrow, Sunday, uh, with that pull, so I don't need his pull right now. But there is Mashadi. No, I think there's stuff that I want more, so let's keep going. Maybe everybody's breathing a sigh of relief here. <laughs> to be honest, there's nothing I'm dying for, so I wouldn't be against just pulling them all just to show people, you know, but... Let's see what we get. Ah, that's a good one. Fairly recently maxed uh, Gorasada. Oh, four rainbows here. This is a good one too. This is maybe one of the best cards for magic users. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay, I think this one's a keeper already. Uh, this is a uh, Black Rose Helena. Uh, what is it? Raises your agility for your party, uh, raises magic for the user, and then gives you a new uh, vision ability, so mm, maybe I'll keep this one. <laughs> oh! That's crazy. Alright, this last character is almost a bonus at this point. Let's see what we get. Okay, well, that's going to be Mog Metals, but that's fine.
Oh, I could pull one more time, but let's keep this one. I think this is a good one. All right, good. Lots of vision cards. And then, um... Oh, here's some, uh... Shards. Might as well pull this. <laughs> All right, we'll skip that. Uh, okay. If and when I pull Sakura, I'll probably level her up just because I want her so much. And let's see if there's anything else I can pull. Any rare tickets? No. Okay. Uh, let's go to vision cards. Let's uh, level some of that stuff up. So, Black Rose Helena. Very good. And I guess we can talk about her real quick. Uh, but yeah, party ability, agility up. Uh, that will get up to 15%. That'll be the same as the uh, the Bellove card. And then the personal ability. Uh, you have to be a kind of a staff user. White mage, black mage, uh, staff mage. And then you can get the accuracy up. And then the vision ability. This is a uh, low damage, but a little bit of range. Some area of effect. And then it will draw people towards the center. Uh, I guess if there's only like a single target, it'll move uh, that enemy character one uh, panel towards you. And then it will lower area of effect uh, resistance. So, kind of a good card. Non-elemental as well. Okay, and then... We got this card. Uh, oh, I still need one more pull to level this up, but this is good too. Uh, that will give you the uh, the man eater on your party for magic attacks, and then magic up for the personal ability. I guess that's what I was thinking about. Uh, but same thing here, staff users. And then uh, ruin jaw. This will be a uh, non-elemental magic attack that any of those magic users can use. I see this used a lot on uh, Kidufe. Uh, because Kidufe, she kind of lacks in range, but this is pretty good range uh, for a magic attack. And then there is the Spear card. Currently three stars. Still ways to go there, but that's fine. Okay, but pretty good pulls. Oh, and then in uh, Global this morning, uh, level 20, beating the tower, I got that free 10 uh, pull ticket. I got my first get of a two-headed dragon there, so very exciting. Okay, next, let's go to the news. Let's see, we'll talk about... let's talk about the new units first. I'm still debating with myself if I want to pull for them or not. Uh, but two URs, uh, we'll see if they're on the same banner or not. Uh, here is a uh, Gabudu. Uh, a lot of people are speculating that his name is uh, Gabriel. Uh, if it were, it would be a uh, Gabudieru. That's different from Gabudu. Uh, so maybe Garble or uh, maybe Garvel. I think there was a data mine that said it was a uh, Garvel. I'll put the uh, the spell for that up there. Uh, but main job is a new one. Uh, it's like uh, manipulating uh, energy, or maybe airbender would be a good one. Uh, but this will be a uh, magic scaled uh, magic type attacker. Uh, but he will be equipping fists. I think it would be cool if he were magic scaled like a uh, strike attacker, but uh, apparently it's just the magic attacks here. So uh, if you used uh, the Fenrir card against him, you could defend against him. And then sub job is the, uh, the power word. Uh, that's the same as uh, Swimsuit Kiton. Uh, that is a job that is strong against magic attacks uh, and then does good damage to magic users, so like spirit piercing and stuff. And then the other sub job is Red Mage, so uh, maybe that will give him uh, magic reflex, uh, jamming thrust, stuff like that. Uh, but he looks pretty cool. I wanted a uh, dark element magic user and he fits the bill. So I am tempted to pull for him. And then he's got that uh, Master Ability, which buffs your party, which is not Power Creep. <laughs> uh, and then it will raise the magic on him uh, 20%, so that's tempting. And then here's uh, El Shirel, Eru Shireru. Uh, light Element, main job will be Night Blade. 
Uh, we don't know what that is yet, but that will equip uh, great swords. And then sub jobs will be spell blade and then double gunner. So very interesting uh, mix of abilities. I've said this before, but some of my favorite units are spell blades that can tank physical damage. And then if we look at her master ability, uh, she will get pierce and then projectile resistance plus five. Uh, hopefully she has more of that in her uh, just uh, naturally in her kit. So if it turns out that she is a spell blade that can use attract spell. Uh, but then tank the physical attacks, I would be very tempted to pull her as well. Uh, double Gunner, she can maybe get the uh, the tune-up, that uh, defense piercing. And then looks like Drain Rush, this looks like a three-hit attack. I don't think I have any uh, light element slash multi-hit attackers outside of Thancred, who only has a two-hit attack. So that would be uh, tempting there as well. And then of course being a, a great sword user, uh, she should be able to equip the new uh, Exorcist card that I have, so that would be tempting there as well. I kind of want both characters. And I'm kind of hoping that they're on the same banner, you know? Uh, because then I would be tempted just to pull that banner, like, just like, as a test. And then whatever the game gives me, I would be uh, wanting to level that up. But we'll see. Uh, that'll be a Sunday tomorrow, so we'll see what kind of banners there are. Uh, her too, she has the Party Master ability, uh, which again I like and helps buff your old units, uh, kind of encourages you to make certain uh, teams, so that's kind of cool. Uh, hard quests, and I think they get login bonuses and stuff too. Okay, last, let's look at the new raid, that will be for Diablos. Uh, there's some moaning and groaning on Reddit for another raid. I don't know why you people are surprised. Raids are a part of the game. And if you don't like it, don't play it. I don't know what's so hard about that. <laughs> uh, but the regular raid will be a Diablos, Dark Element, so weak to Light, and then also weak to Slash. So once again, Rob Horn will be good for a uh, raid here. And then the rare raid will be the Princess Pudding, uh, Light Element, so weak to Dark, and then also weak to Magic Attacks. So. So the two new units, of course, are going to be good for the raids. Uh, that's been the pattern so far, shouldn't be surprising. Uh, and then there are bonus units, which will give you additional rewards if you use them in the raid. Uh, the ones that will give you the big bonus will be the two new units, of course, uh, Gabaru and Erushireru. And then the medium bonuses will be Rob Horn and Sasayaki, so get those characters ready. And then uh, small bonuses will be Vistral and uh, Raidu. Uh, Daidu has some dark magic attacks. Maybe that might be surprising, but have another look. He's still the only character in the game that can use a uh, dark and darkra. <laughs> uh, but yeah, maybe um, I put Sasayaki into the uh, the barracks, and I'm raising her faith. Um, I guess for the moment I'll give up on her being a magic tank. I'll just use Agrius instead. That's not a bad compromise. And then maybe I can get more uh, use out of her status effects and her uh, Spellblade attack, so we'll test that out. Okay, so I think that'll do it for this video here. Uh, recent stuff going on in JP. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.